Which Toronto Blue Jays back in the city as they continue their marathon 30 games in 31 days. This weekend they swept the Mets for the first time in franchise history and during that series an exciting moment for pitcher Chris Bassett. He had to leave because his wife was in labor. With Chris out of the rotation it gave a chance for a call up and that call went to Jay Jackson. I want to know about you know you get the call you're with Buffalo you're getting the call up to go with the Jays meet them while they're on the road and now we're here today. What has the last 40 hours been like for you? It's been fun. It's just been a world win though same as always you know just trying to get here and make sure I'm here in time to be ready with the team but it's always fun it's a little hectic when you get the call last minute but you know considering that Bassett had his baby I'm so excited for him that's the main thing and that they're healthy and just coming up here to help so I'm excited. You made your debut with the Jays in early May against Pittsburgh and I know you've been kind of going back and forth with Buffalo. The mental part of this all, can you talk about the mental game and kind of preparing for this because you never know when you're going to get that call. You just try to stay as ready as you can. You know, you go down there, work on stuff and right now I've been kind of leaving some pitches, pitches middle but my stuff's been good so the results aren't quite there but you just try to stay as sharp as you can and then come back up here and whenever your name's called just try to be ready. We needed to talk about that mindset of being positive and you know, positive vibes. You have a whole clothing brand about this. <laughs> have you always been like this or was it a mindset that developed later? I think I've developed it as I've gotten older. At uh, first, you know, you kind of want everything right away and you want the results to kind of match like what's going on and everything like that. But as I've gotten older, I've learned to just kind of enjoy the journey more and just take every moment like it's my last and just, you know, have fun. I mean, look at these guys we have out here. I mean. They make me want to be younger and happy and be as happy as I can to bring the energy for them to go out there and do their jobs as well. You're known as Smiling Jay. Can you identify your teammates' smiles? The tough one. This is the toughest quiz I've ever done. That might be Chappie. Okay. Nailed it. Nailed it. We got Chappie. So far, we're one for one. Is that Vladdy? Okay, two for two. Look at you. It is Vladdy. I think it's a little tougher. I want to say Bo. Wow, I swear I didn't show him these before. Three three. Okay, can you go four for four? Uh, I want to say either Yimmy or me. Oh, it's, it's God, Springer, it's Springer, but hey, Springer, Springer, hey, oh. still smiles, everyone. <laughs> Three out of four, that's a win to me. As for Chris Bassett, he and his wife welcomed their baby Colson to the world on Sunday. He's expected back on the mound here in Toronto on Wednesday when the Jays continue their series against the Astros. For City News, I'm Lindsay Dunn.